Good morning. So yesterday we kind of finished off um, the edit goal um, uh, page and uh, did a little bit of refactoring to clean up a couple of issues and things. Um, so today I want to get on to doing a bit of uh, testing um, of the API. Uh, just explore how I can do it, seeing as the API is so database driven. So, um, okay, well, first thing, I think I should probably just merge up the branch I'm in, actually. Um, yep, I can't do that, actually. So, I'll check it out. Develop. Make sure it's up to date. It should be. Cool. And then I'm just going to merge in. Yeah, where is it gone? It's moved. Oh, there it is. Get merge. Goal page. I'll do. And push that. Maybe I actually should give that a quick test and <laughs> make sure it's okay before I push it. <laughs> Make sure it does the thing. Client, server, client, charm built, and now it's deploying. Let's work in there. Let's do this thing. Let's just change the day on this. Let's say it's the end of August. Okay, that did the thing. Okay, <clears throat> I don't think I need to do too much testing there. I've given a good whack over the last few days. Let's just push this. Okay, let's create a new branch. Um, okay, tests. Don't need spelt stuff. That's a good point, actually. Let's just quickly check. Um, uh, I think we're good there. See if the uh, the builds are working. 
haven't looked at them for a little bit. Oh, they have been passing. So hopefully this new one does its job too. Right, let's test some API stuff. I've got a test for the ping working now, so let's just uh, do it quick. Uh, make test. Oh, a Cypress one as well. Forgot about that. Did it all pass? Go past. Client passed. And there's no. Yes, no, yes, fine. Okay. The basics are there. Uh, although I do know I've got a little bit of an issue with my test there, I just need to check to see um, that node thing. Ugh. For whatever reason, those Cypress tests hang around. I need to look into that at some point, but mm, not bothered at the moment. I'll go back to that. I need to actually review and do some work on them anyway. And I need to minus nine it, otherwise it doesn't go. Okay, that's that. All right, now we're actually going to be testing the server, so I'll just do it here. And we can do what well, it's do to do. Go test minus V. So we see it. Okay, hello world and ping. Now I'm passing. Now what I want to look at is uh, a um, package called Scrum. So what I should be able to do is look for updates and inserts. The only issue I, I think I might have is what happens with the results. Uh, if, I, if I'm right, and I had a quick look at this before. Um, it looks promising. But I'm not sure how well it's going to work with UUIDs. Uh, although I probably will be faking the records anyway. But I'm not sure how it works with the returned results from pretending to do an update and insert and so on. So I need to look at that. I 
think I can... It's not going to help me on the results. Okay. New result. Last insert ID. It's not going to work for me. Hmm. Not sure what to do about that. Maybe once I get into it, it won't be an issue. Maybe I can work around it with the query stuff. As I'm generally doing queries if I'm returning a UUID. Because the execs don't handle that. So it might be a non-issue, although it's not actually database work, so there isn't actual, I can make up whatever return I want. Presumably. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I think we can maybe just give it a go on a on one of the earlier APIs where we're just validating login details, and I can kind of um, basically mock up a user. I could probably just take the details from my demo to get the proper um, to get the proper format for the actual 
hashed password and so on. Hmm, okay. I think it's worth a go. I think there's enough here that as I use it, I might be able to work around the UID problems I might have. I think I can... I can assume that a UID is going to be returned from the query. Yeah. Let's grab some of this. Uh, where's a good example that I can just grab data from? Maybe, maybe I should just go back to that. Euros. Uh, column definitions. What was the ad row? Hmm. I won't be doing that. Okay. I'm just going to take this stuff here and see how we go. going to test. I think login might be the easiest. I'm going to create a token as well. Check it.
The alternative is to check get goals. Start from the top. Let's do a login. We'll start with just checking. The password query. Uh, well, sorry, the user ID, the user, the member query. And then we'll build out from there to see whether the token is created or attempted to be created. I guess that, I don't know what's going to happen when you do that. Okay. Test the login. SNT, which is the test NT. Um, I think, yeah, I will be using is, I think. Actually, don't need to do that, do I? So, if I use is, in theory, is oops is no er er Should we probably actually go get it? <laughs> go get. Uh, where is it? There we go. Oops. That didn't take. Presumably that's stuck in the right 
Edit. Why is that complaining? A warning. Don't know anything about defers, and we'll just go get past that for the moment. Why is that? We are expecting back. What are we expecting back? An ID and password. And we are getting just the one. It's just demo data that I've just created on the fly, so I should probably quote that. And the password. And we are expecting the query, which is a select. Don't really need to do any other params there. Um, there's no alternative at selects that could happen there. Hope. So what else do I do? So I've got the expect there and I've got to check the expectations now. Is that right? after I've actually done the thing. Expectations weren't met. Okay. Okay, so we need to build the actual query. We need to do the uh, service stuff now. So we're going to be doing kind of all this. At some point I'm probably going to have to take that out into a new um, into a little setup script or something. But just today I'll just hack it in and see what happens. I wonder if I should do that early. Yeah. That's set up there. Set up the service scaffold as such. And then take 
actually do the request stop. Here. So we're going to log in. Although actually, uh, we are talking log. Did I keep it lowercase? I did. Okay. And the message is going to be. email and password. Uh, a demo. That's right. And Bed. whatever that is because it's auto generated so I have no idea um, actually should I even do that what I should really do is have something that I'm never going to Well, I guess it's complex enough, and then I'll I'll regenerate my password in a minute. So that is never the same. Anywhere. We'll just use this from now on. in all my tests and I'll actually change it on well it's only local and stuff at the moment so that's fine but just in case though okay So we're going to be passing in a bit of JSON that has the wall password passed over HTTPS normally to the request. We're going to get some response. We want to I'm going to deliver on that query. We're going to deliver back the UID and the hashed password to the query. And what's the response? We'll test that while we're going along. The login response in theory should just check the hash should be okay it's going to create a token that i'm not capturing yet but um ah oh, yeah i'm gonna to have to pass back a token string so we'll have to deal with that so okay that's probably going to fail in a minute but I will pretend I'm getting back a member ID and token string for the moment um, and just see if that fails. So I just grab this stuff here. 
I'm expecting status good. And I'm expecting member ID. Like so. And we don't know what the token string is going to be yet because we haven't actually done it. But I could probably grab one. table token string something should have loads in here now I need to clear out what was my member ID D7. Let's take the last one because that's about to go. We're all expiring soon. Theory, that's okay. And now I should be able to. Hold on. I've got two different versions of mock there. What is it coming in as? Yes, not. So we've got the mark. Should be that. That. Mark. Uh, I forgot what it's called again. Some sort of expectations thing. Expectations were met. And what do I pass in? Nothing. And where's the is? There. Copy paste. On the, um, actually, okay, they don't, 
I just die basically if things met that test. Okay. Let's see what that does. What's the time? Okay, we're good. We've got a couple of minutes. So we're going to go through, we're going to open up. Let's just block that. Start a service. We're going to expect an ID, a password as such. We expect a query to happen. We're going to call the service where the query happens. And expect the service to return good stuff with the data that we've just mocked up and then the expectations of the query should be met how that in, how that works with uh oh i'm not going to get the token stuff so the service is going to die anyway but okay let's um let's see whether i <laughs> whether I'm right that the service is going to go, nope, because it's not going to do the query properly. That's interesting. If you do multiple queries, oh, it's an insert, so that's fine. And you can do matched. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what happens here. Lots of bang. Okay. Did not expect that. Runtime error. Invalid memory address or nil point of it dereferenced. Where are we at there? Oh, because it's trying to. Oh, because some database stuff. How am I going to pass that through? So I need to override database config. Back up by that. Not set in defaults there. Wonder how little I can get away with. Can I just get away with setting the config? I am in package main for the API and tests, so it's there should be let's try the wrong type That's problematic. Huh. 
Huh. How do I get around that then? need to I need to find a way of casting that. alternative is is there a way that I can in the actual application use a form of SQL DB I'm using a Postgres pool because I want multiple connections I've got multiple threads potentially. Hmm. Okay. I'm running out of time. I'm not really going to have time to do that. Quick. Uh, I wonder, I don't suppose this is going to mention anything about PGX, is it? Is it going to draw a pool? No. SQL driver. Don't think. The basics doesn't do a pull. Hmm. That might be a bit of a showstopper. Might not be able to use that test set up. I'll have to do some research on that one, which I don't have time to do right now. If I've got 
connection string. The pool is not a database. Hmm. Yep, yeah, that might be. Didn't think about that, that I'm using a pool. I forgot. Just, just a step too far away from the standard SQL driver. Okay. Uh, well, on that bombshell, <laughs> I could have to close up for a bit. Uh, until next time. Take care.